Okay, so we are going to change the check spring on our gamble, and we're going to use a 1 16th Allen wrench. There's an Allen screw in the back of this little black thing, and we're going to loosen this whole assembly by loosening that Allen screw. A couple turns, yep, it's all loose. So then we're going to pull off the rotary tensioner. I'm going to take a rag and just clean it off a little bit, because it's always good to get it clean. And then we're going to disassemble our rotary tensioner so that we can replace the check spring. And you lay it down in order that you take it off. And if these felt washers are bad enough, you can always change them out, which I think I will today. And then we need a small screwdriver. We're going to loosen this little screw, and that's going to allow us to remove this little thing. I don't have any idea what the item is called, but it is really dirty. And then we're going to remove the check spring. And the reason why we're changing this one out is because when you touch it, you can see that there is a little, little bitty groove inside of there. And that's what our thread does to the check spring it can wear grooves into it. So to remove it, we're going to take this screwdriver and just extract it. And it is really dirty. Let's clean the inside out. This is a good time to do that. Okay, now we're going to put it back together. We're going to insert the check spring into that slot. The, the little loose part that makes the U is going to be inserted into the slot going to put the little rod inside. Now there's a little slit inside this rod right here that fits inside the check spring. There, a piece of that check spring is sticking up and that little rod fits in there. You can feel it when it seats itself. Now it's grabbed the check spring. See how I can move it? So then we turn the check spring until it touches the end of that slot and now we're going to rotate it another one-eighth of a turn or 45 degrees. And you can look at this empty slot here and that'll help you determine how far to turn it. And now we're going to tighten the screw here putting all the pieces back on the way we took them off and that spring needs to be inserted in the slot on the little rod. This little o-ring goes in with the rough side out so it's got the little grooves in it and then put the white knob back on and you want to tighten it up the same amount that it was on there to begin with. We keep ours just about flush. Now we're going to reinsert it into the machine. I have my Allen wrench and we're going to insert the rotary tensioner so that the bottom of the U here on the check spring is at about 10 o'clock between these two pieces here. We want to make sure that we are not inserting it so far that the check spring is hung up on the back of the machine. We want to mm -hmm. keep a little distance there. And now we're going to tighten our Allen screw. Now test your tension on a scrap first. <laughs> 